Hey fam, how are you guys doing today? It is a great day today to be in Christ, to be in God, to be in love. And I'm here to tell you guys, keep your head held high because you belong to the most high. And this one, you know, <laughs> y'all can check out our YouTube circle in the line. And uh, we're going to be starting doing our new Christian content on there as well. But you guys, I just feel so much more pepped up and joyful. Uh, I know it's raining outside. It's gloomy. I'm trying not to let the weather dictate my feelings, you know. Um, but I really love you guys. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I hope everything is going the fantastic way that you wanted to go and uh, everything is fabulous. And on this, what are we today? Thursday? We are thirsty for the word. So with that being said, I'm just going to read off something that I read today and I felt like it was encouraging to me. So I want to encourage you. It comes from the NLT version, New Living Translation, 1 John 3, 1. And this, it reads, see how very much our father loves us for he calls us his children. And that is what we are. But the people who belong to this world don't recognize that we are God's children because they do not know him. That was so powerful and so strong to me, you guys, because it really spoke values like when you realize that people don't know God and they do things to you, they do things against you maliciously and so forth. I'll explain to you like our kids have a therapy session and they have therapy and this one lady just particularly is just everything is just wrong. And basically, like, we know. So what we do is we just pray. And we say, God, this is on on your hands. You know, you, you can handle this. We're not going to take this because we know that this is something that you have to do. And that's one of them things that we just let it, we let it go. And this week, my kids' therapy sessions were, you know, taken because they didn't get the paperwork back. But the thing is that the fax machine wasn't working or what so have you. And... Honestly, at that point in time, particularly, we were like, you know what? Our children are going to be fine. So we just counted it all our joy, and we said we're going to take a vacation. So next week, we'll be on vacation, you guys, and stuff like that. And um, I just wanted to really encourage you, like, when you think that the worst is going on and people treat you wrong, you think that they get away with it. They're not getting away with it. We had a bunch of ministry and a bunch of situations that have been going on. Well, y'all, let me tell y'all something. We belong to the most high. That was not something that I was just saying or playing with. And uh, I'm going to just go ahead and sit right here, and we're going to pray, and I'm going to let you guys get back to your day, and I hope you have a wonderful evening afternoon everything so dear heavenly father lord god we come before you right now thank you for your grace and your mercy everything that you've given us everything that you entail god we don't take it lightly but we know that you are allowing us to be here in this very season lord god that we shall prevail and we shall get through all of these bounty list times and things that are going on god and we just say thank you thank you for your glory and your mercy and each household that is under the sound of my voice we ask that you bless them keep them safe lord god and let them remember the scripture lord god and let them get on their knees when they need you and we thank you and we love you in jesus name amen love y'all have a fantastic day